Hey, Emily, do you know what they call a dog that doesn't bark? What do they call a dog that doesn't bark? A hush puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here with Emily and Perito, one of our, it's our pet of the week. Emily, what can you tell us about Perito? So Perito is super friendly, great with other dogs, great with cats. Um, he is heartworm positive, but that's not going to stop you from adopting him. He's super sweet, super outgoing, um, and heartworms is very treatable. And he is sponsored by Escambia County, uh, Friends of Escambia County Animal Shelter. So they'll be happy to help you with the payment, the expenses of treating him for heartworms. What else do we know about him? How old is he? Uh, about two. About two years mm -hmm. old. So Perito is very sweet. He likes to run around, play with everybody, check the whole place. He's a curious, sweet dog. He should be great for and any home. Loves to sit on your lap. Loves to sit on your lap. <laughs> should be a good family pet for anybody. But if also if it's an like an older retired couple that just wants somebody to travel with them and hang out, I think Perito would do fine in that environment as well. So April is Heartworm Awareness Month. For as we talked about, Perito is heartworm positive. It is treatable, but it all it is also preventable. Um, if you keep your dogs on heartworm prevention, you can get that from your veterinarian um, and give it once. Typically, it's a once a month. Sometimes it's an application to the to the skin. Sometimes it's an oral medication that they can take. But it is a prevent. There are preventatives that can keep them from getting heartworms. We highly encourage all our uh, people that are watching to get their dogs on heartworm preventative. It's very important because mm -hmm. um, it's a lot more expensive to treat and it's a lot harder on the dog. If you can imagine worms in the heart is not going to be very comfortable. So we definitely want people to get, the, get their animals on preventative and keep them on that. Uh, heartworms are transmitted by mosquitoes. Um, so a lot of times if you've got your dog, if you don't have it on preventative, it gets bit by a mosquito that, that is carrying, they can give the dog heartworms. Mm -hmm. With heartworms, they can do it. They'll do a test usually during your annual checkup when you get your vaccinations, and you got to make sure you get your rabies and other vaccinations done every year anyway. They should do a heartworm test at that time to make sure that the dog is negative, um, and then keep it on preventative and reissue the preventative for the next year. Hey everybody, I want you to meet Brad Kitt. He's about a two-year-old orange tabby um, neutered male. Mm -hmm. And Emily, what can you tell us about Brad Kitt? So Brad came to us as an owner surrender. Um, they had a big family and we're starting with another family member and um, had a bunch of animals already. So they decided he needed to come here and be up for adoption. Um, he's neutered, negative on all of his tests that he's had here. And he's just ready to go home. He's great with dogs, great with other cats, great with kids. So he's living in the Catnip Cafe, correct? Correct. So he's out there with a bunch of other cats already. You come visit him. Mm -hmm. Catnip Cafe is a great place to meet cats here at the shelter. There's plenty of room in there. You get to sit down and you get to see them in there, a natural, almost what they'd be like at home. So come visit Brad Kitt. He needs a home. <laughs>